Um, let me just crack up some music real fast. There you go. You guys should be able to hear it. Oh, hang on. I can't hear it, but you guys should be able to. Yep. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> we had two lots of music playing, hey? Oops. Alright. So, what I'm going to be sharing with you guys is some smart deck building tips for the Pokemon trading card game online. So, at the moment, I've... I went to the... Uh, what was it? The release... The pre-release of Unbroken Bonds for Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon. The trading card game. Obviously. <laughs> And uh, there was a few things that I decided that I should maybe have a look over. And every single pack I got on the day was just trash. Just complete trash. Um, the only thing I got was really Green's Exploration. Uh, that Crowbat. That's, that's pretty much it. So what I've decided to do is just have a look on the Trade Center here. On the Pokemon TCGO. And see if I can make any smart investments with the cards I want, knowing what I do. So I tried looking up things like Dedenne, and th th no surprise, there's no Dedenne's going on here. So, <laughs> yeah, everyone wants those Dedenne's. But I am, what I am thinking about is picking up a lot of mysterious treasures, treasures. Um, and even though I'll be giving away Unbroken Bonds, which is probably one of the be very best sets in Pokemon to get right now. Because uh, there is a chance of getting things such as Dedenne. <laughs> um, apparently it's as good as Guardian's Rising was. I, I, I don't know. But, yeah. So, I'm thinking about maybe picking up something like this Malamar. Because that looks really helpful. Um, because I'm thinking about making a bit of a Psychic-ish deck. Uh, so, what I'm going to be doing at the moment. What I, what I think I've decided on. Is, for one... Sun and Moon on Broken Bonds, I'm going to be getting four Mysterious Treasures, which I think are fairly valuable. Because you can discard a card from your hand, then search your deck for a Psychic or Dragon Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Did I say hand twice? I don't know. But, um, so it's basically Ultra Ball, but you only drop one card to look for one of these certain types of Pokemon. So because Ultra Balls are rotating out, I feel like this is going to be really important, especially because I like Psychic and Do uh, Dragon Pokemon. And even if it's not, if there's some sort of alternative to it coming back, then I'll have two ways to cycle through, which I think is going to be really helpful. Also, uh, picking up something like Energy Spinner, just to search my deck for an energy card, put it in my hand. I feel like that's not bad. It's just a free card, so you can basically just play it, get an energy, and it's as if you're just one card down in your deck. So it's it's pretty good for like deck thinning, is what my opinion is. And then, you know, it's got second effect, which is pretty okay as well. Not the best, but okay. So, instead of that getting that, though, I am just going to go for... What did I say it was? This thing. So, getting four mysterious treasures for one of these boosters. I feel like that's worth it, especially because I got such trash on the day. So, I'm going to accept this trade. Cool. Um, now, the next thing that I'm going to be doing, because I've got a little bit of an idea in mind is I'm going to be looking for Crobat. Because I quite like the Crobat line. I think it's I think it's pretty interesting. I think it's pretty good. Um, okay. Oh, oh, these are the Crobat trades. No? No, they're not. What is happening here? Crobat. Um Hello? <laughs> Okay, there we go. Um, because there is this trade of... I trade away this. Two of these, which is pretty huge. But I can get things here, such as, I don't know, random Genesect. Some cards that are worth a little bit. But if I continue to wait a little bit longer, you'll see there's actually a full playset of Crobat here. For the cost of two of these, which is, to be honest, pretty huge. Or I can just trade one away and get this, which also wouldn't be too bad. So, there's a few different routes that I could take here. 
Uh, we're just going to wait for a few of these load up. Like, look, look at this. This is pretty good, right? So we get two Crobats. I play a set of these Zootubat and Golbat that no one really cares about at all. But for two cards. So essentially we just... Uh, for one card, sorry. So essentially for one card we're getting two of these rares that we have a chance of pulling from this pack anyway. <laughs> or we could just trade one for one if you want to be that simple. But that's, that's, that's never worth it. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> um, getting a Mew. Oh man, Mew looks so cute. Oh. It's so trash, but it, it's very cute. <laughs> that could also be a somewhat worthwhile trade. Okay, this. No. No? Yes. No. I mean, it's not a bad trade I saw it I did see it a moment ago what I wanted to trade for but now I don't <laughs> um, so yeah we'll just keep letting this buffer have a look at some of these see what we like I think the full playset is probably the best way for me to go at the moment not that I want to be just getting rid of these packs as fast as I can because it cost me real money to actually get them. <laughs> you know what I mean? But also, this is pretty decent. Full playset. One of them. Full playset for two, I think it's also worth it, because normally you get... Think about it. Uh, there's a chance of getting one of these Crobat, right, in one of these packs. So, there's a very real chance of me getting, like, a Crobat and then something else in these two packs. Um, or even two Crobat, at best, if, I, if I'm aiming for Crobat. But then we're not going to get the full four. So, I feel like that probably is definitely the best build that we can go for. Build? Uh, deal? Thing? <laughs> So, actually, we're just going to click that. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to get this whole playset of Crobat. Done. Alright, and then the final piece of the puzzle is... We're going to try and aim for Gengar. Although, Malamar would also be very cool. So, I think Gengar also has quite a bit of potential here. I think it might have been this one? Nah. Maybe. So, there is a deal that's fairly similar to this on the line at the moment, I think, where you can get, for, for one of these packs, I think you can get a whole playset, which sounds pretty neat to me. There's two of those sorts of ones. Uh, it'll, it'll load up, just, you got to give it some time. Uh, Gengar plus five more. I mean, we, we could just spend two packs and get that whole lot, right? Hmm. I mean, I, I would like this whole Gengar Mimikyu thing. Um, but I'd only want to trade one pack for it. And most people want at least two. Yeah, see, they want at least two. And they, that that's for one of these, which could definitely be worth it. You guys should go grab that if that's your thing. But I don't really care that much for, like, how special a card is. Unless it's... IRL. So on this game, I don't really worry about that. This. This is the thing. So we can get four Gengars, right? Plus a whole bunch of different random cards. Four Ghastlies. Um, just for one pack. And I think... I think that in itself is pretty... pretty great. <laughs> um, what else do we have? It's the same thing I just looked at. This is interesting because we can get Incineroars, have a whole Pokemon bench full of strong cheers. Um, Devolution Spray is here as well. Um, wait, is, D is Devolution Spray still going to be in the meta? I... 
I don't think it is. I don't think. Also, Frost says, Pokemon Stock Market Simulator 2019. Yeah, yeah, definitely. For, <laughs> you're not wrong. Let's have a look. We can get Electromagnetic Radar, Dust Island, which is going to be huge, and we're actually going to want that for our poison types, very possibly. Um, we get three Haunter, four Gengar, four, uh, sorry, four, four, four Ghastly. With the ability Swelling Sprite, which is amazing. Um, we get some Murkrows if we want to build a Dark deck and go into Honchkrow. Everything else I don't think we really care about too much. Definitely not that. Um, but this, this is a nice little set, right? We could easily slide this into some sort of a deck. Uh, so now the choice for us is, do we want four Gengar? And some, you know, decent cards, like an energy spinner, or whatever. Um, or, do we want way more cards, with only two Gengar? But, there's also Haunter in this. Uh, Buzzwell... The Devolution Spray, Z. Which could be helpful. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What, what, what do you think we want to do? Is a big question. Well, actually, the most important thing is it has Dust Island in it. Which we'd have to get manually ourselves if we didn't buy this exact set. So we're trying, we're not getting as many Gengar as we wanted. But we will be getting Dust Island. Is that trade worthwhile? I don't know. We could buy both, but I feel like that's kind of silly. If we look up Dust Island, right, and we see what they're doing, then we could always reflect on that, right? So we could get ah uh, one Dust Island. But remember, it only works with poisoned Pokemon, and it only works with the trainer card. Because when they switch their poisoned active Pokemon with one of their benched Pokemon due to, with the with the effect of a trainer card, so Pokemon abilities get by uh, get by this, and so do what's it called? Um. Oh, just normal, just playing, paying retreat costs, right? It's only when uh, a, a trainer card happens. So, what I think... Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, nah, we don't want that either. We can switch a Volcanion? Wait, we have that? Oh! I didn't... Realize we had that. Alright, um, we don't want to trade our Volcano on. <laughs> yeah. But we can trade a team up pack for four of these dust. So, if we really wanted the Dust Island, we could just trade a team up tag team thing. Yeah. Um, but I feel like this trend card isn't really that worth it. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, no, no, all right, so we're going to grab that original Gengar idea, right, because it's, it's probably a lot easier to grab four Gengars, uh, yeah, grab four Gengars, four Ghastly, and then look for our own um, haunters 
I think might be the way, the way to go. So the idea with this deck that we're building is it's going to be a poison type deck where we essentially have Crobat who comes in and the, the turn that it evolves from Galbat to Crobat, Galbat to Crobat, it can't be... You, you basically prevent everything that happens to it until the end of your opponent's next turn. So you basically get one free turn of just not getting hurt, unless abilities are shut off or something crazy like that. Um, and it has free retreat, and it costs three energies. And then this Gengar also has free retreat, costs three energies. Its ability is when it evolves, um, you chuck down six up to six damage counters on any Pokemon AX or GX on the field in any way you like. And both of their attacks for 3 energy uh, do a lot of damage to Pokemon. Now let me just check real quick. Okay, we do have the Swelling Spite uh, Ghastly, which is the most important one that we want. So when this Pokemon is knocked out, you search your deck for up to 2 Haunter, then put them onto the bench, and then shuffle your deck. So even if our uh, Ghastly gets put out at first, and gets knocked out, we at least can make it back because we'll have 2 Haunter down. Then we can evolve 2 Gengar, we can do Shadow Pain, we have free Retreat Cost, things like that. And we get a cool Kogus Trap with this. Not that I think Kogus Trap really matters. But uh, we also get two Metal Core Barriers, which is good if you want to run a Lucario deck, which I'll tell you guys about later. We get an Energy Spinner, which is good just to chuck in there to lose some uh, stuff. Now, we get also a Triple Accelerate. You know what? I may as well just buy this in case someone else does real fast. So we get a Triple Acceleration Energy as well, which is an energy that's really special because it's a special energy. Um, and essentially you can, it, it counts for three colorless energy but you can only attach it to evolution Pokemon and you have to discard it at the end of the turn so what we're gonna try to do is maybe see if we can find some uh, Malamar yep cool oh wait yeah no I, I meant Malamar but in K um, but not this set. I don't know the Malamar... That, there it is. It's that set, whatever that is. Which has Psychic Recharge. So once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So the idea is that we put the Malamar down, uh, eventually somehow. It, it might be a bit slow to start this deck though. But we get the Malamar down, we get the Ghastlies down, we get the Zubats down. Malamar's gonna... We're gonna, we're gonna uh, use Dragon Treasures to discard energies, put them in the discard pile. Um then we'll use this ability to get Psychic Energies onto the Pokemon that we want to use. We'll have our 3 energy special energy card that I just explained, but I, I forgot what it's called. Um, in order to just have be able to use attacks for a turn. We have free retreat, retreat on Gengar and Crobat anyway, so we will be able to switch between attackers all the time, depending on what we want to use and what we want to evolve. And we can just slap that energy down on the Pokemon which is also uh, fairly handy. Um, but we are missing some of these Malamars. Now, what set is this from? Uh, what is that? Like, something that looks like a tree? Might be Forbidden Light? Maybe? I think it might be Forbidden Light. Uh, that's not the right Malamar. Okay, let's... Check out these. Okay, so these we've got the symbols. Um, so we know it's probably for from one of these two things. Probably forbidden light, but we'll still search that out and see what we can find. That's the wrong Malamar. <laughs> that is though. Okay, so one of these has the right one. One of these has the wrong one. Uh, okay, so it's that symbol that's like not a flower. <laughs> okay, the not a flower symbol. Yep. Okay, so this Malamar is pretty old apparently, which makes sense to why I don't know it. 
There we go. Uh, so, let's see if we can find any Malamars. And if so, let's see if we can find a lot of them all at once to get. Because I don't particularly... want to just get them like one every unbroken bonds card or packet I have or something like that, you know? Or for two team up. That just sounds ridiculous to me. Oh, here we go. Uh, that's the wrong Malamar. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. Malamar. Search for that. Refresh it. We switched the cards, right? Yeah. So it shouldn't show us the other one. Okay. Um, so, we'll have this deck where Gengar does 60 damage, I think it is, and its attack both puts the opponent to uh, asleep and poisons them. Which is pretty good. I like that combo. Um, and then we've got Crobat, which poisons the opponent, does 70 damage for 3 energy. Colorless energy. Um, but also between turns, instead of taking 1 damage from poison, they take, I think it's 4? It could be 3, but I'm pretty sure it's 4. Um, so the idea is that we tag those two together, because they're roughly the exact same Pokemon. They have different weaknesses though, which is actually really nice. Um, you can tag them together, and then that's pretty much it, actually. <laughs> like, there's not a lot to this strategy. It's just, you evolve your Gengars, get some extra damage down, uh, you poison opponents, uh, you can get a Dust Stadium in there if you want to, Dust Island Stadium, so that when they do retreat their Pokemon with trainer cards, the effects still remain. Um, Which is good because if Gengar puts them to sleep, they're not. I don't think they're going to be able to retreat themselves, and then trainer cards would still add a poison effect to the new Pokemon. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ability, abilities generally just help you retreat your Pokemon rather than actually retreat the. Po uh, then switch the Pokemon itself with the ability. But I gotta say, guys, it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting any of these Malamars anytime soon, which is pretty annoying. Uh, and that's fine though. I mean, it, it gets rid of an evolution line in our deck. It makes it a little bit shorter, um, and that's spaces that we can just use to, I, I guess, just gather up energy the natural way. <laughs> yeah, because I'm I'm definitely not gonna be trading like entire packs just for a Malamar. That's pretty crazy. There, there should be other ways to get uh, energies down onto our Pokemon. So, now that we've gotten rid of the Malamar, right, because we can't add it to the deck, the next idea that we do have that we could do is we simply look for the Pokemon card Welder. Um, and I forget what it's in, so let's just tick all these boxes up to Ultra Prism, which is what's going to be in the 2020 rotation standard. So it, ah, oh, I should have named the, hang on. I need to go name the stream and title it, uh, for 2020 rotation. So, rotation 2020 deck building. Alright. And it's done. Great. <sighs> Oops. Um, so let's see if we can grab some welders. So we want to grab a fair few if we can. Copycat plus five more. No. Nah. Poke Gear could be good though. What does what does that do? You reveal a, a sporter card from the top seven of the deck. All right. 
So Poke Gear are not bad at all. They're pretty great. Welder plus two more. Okay, so for two, we can get two welders and a fire energy that's locked, apparently. Trade locked. Uh, for an unbroken bonds, I don't think that's good at all because we can just pull that from unbroken uh, unbroken bonds. Um, now this isn't a bad trade because Green's exploration is supposedly really good. Now we do want this triple acceleration energy as well, and we're missing three. So this is actually perfect if we want this. Um, so we might consider that as well. So the, the idea is, now that we don't have Malamar, we could get Welder. And Welder lets you attach up to two Fire Energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon, and then if you do, you draw three cards. So because all of our Pokemon take colorless energy, what the, the, the idea is that we're going to do is we're going to be able to play Welder from our hand, attach up to two Fire Energy cards from our hand, hopefully we have them in our hand, we just play Fire Energy throughout the deck, and then we draw three cards. Um, and if for whatever reason we've already attached another energy this turn, that's already straight up three energies, right? That's huge. World is just broken. Um, look at that, four welders, one unbroken bonds. That is pretty good too. Actually, hang on, is this better though? No, no, we don't care. We don't care enough for that. I mean, there is a chance that we will get a world ourselves, though. Um, and that's super important to think about. Right? I mean, look, this guy's asking for eight team-ups for four welders. I don't know if we're going to get a better deal than what we just found. I mean, that one's the exact same. You can get a Marshadow, which... Um... You discard stadiums and play for it. That's a bit weird. Um, I don't know if we want to take this deal. I mean, we want this triple acceleration energy, alright? So that could also be a great deal for us. But we could just open packs and hopefully, possibly very well, find them. How many packs do we have left of Unbroken Bonds? One. We only have one pack left. So we need to make a decision here. Do we open the pack, hope that we find a welder, or do we just trade a pack to get four welders, or do we trade a pack to get um, this, triple acceleration energy. It's hard for me to think about, actually. <laughs> so that Welder plus three more option is only there twice. Okay. Uh, so with that in mind, we're going to look for triple acceleration energy. And see if, for whatever reason, uh, anyone wants to trade a tag team booster? Oh, team up. Cool. So there are people that want to trade team ups, but they're only asking... They're only trading one for a whole booster, which isn't what I want to do. Um... <laughs> Jugong plus two more. I mean, you can use Dual Blizzard. That is true. Alright. Um, uncommon Chest. <laughs> okay, so... Looking at just Team Up. There's those two. Uh, that... Confused me. Are they just reordering these on me? <laughs> okay, so... It doesn't... 
look like? Oh, wait. <laughs> we can get two. We can get two of these for a team up. I think that might be the best that we can find at the moment. And honestly, I don't think I'm very disappointed with that. Or we could drop... I don't really want to swap two for four though. That's just silly. Alright. So what we are going to do... Yeah, is exactly what I just thought about. So we'll grab the two of these for one team up. And then we'll go back to Welder. And we'll grab four welders. Now, I'd also love to grab some mysterious treasures, but I checked them earlier. And they only trade... People only trade one, maybe two mysterious treasures uh, at a time. Oh, wait. Or do, or do we already do that? I forgot. You know, I'm just going to stop talking about it. I, I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. So we're going to go grab these four welders for a booster pack, which is ridiculous. I know. <laughs> uh, but it means that we don't have to buy... We, we have a good deck on here that we can use and we don't have to keep buying booster packs in order to use it. And the idea is to try and make a cheap deck for you guys. Actually, this isn't really cheap, is it? But it is. It is, but it is. So, you guys might just open your booster packs, and that's completely fine. Um, because the idea is that I'm just showing you, like, the sort of cheap deck you can make. Cheap, right? The one where you don't have to buy, like, Dene. Uh, although that would help any deck. <laughs> any deck, apparently. Um, and you don't have to spend crazy money on, like, I don't know, Malamars or something. Where is that welder? Don't tell me I, don't tell me it's gone. Um Maybe it was just for three. No, it was it was surely for four, right? <laughs> that one's for four. That one's only one welder. No. Is that is that it? Is those are those all the trades? I think it was. I shouldn't have refreshed. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's fine because I think we. I'm pretty sure we already have already have one welder. So plus three for one is going to be okay anyway. Spell tag also would go pretty well in this deck, especially if we just attached it to uh, Ghastly or something like that. And if we feel like we're going to be behind, and then counter energy is also very viable for this deck because of that fact. Are you guys just buying the boosters before I before I get them? <laughs> Uh, now the three deals gone. What? Who? Who's buying all these? <laughs> who's purchasing these and trading before I can? Dude. I mean, actually, it's possible it's still just loading. Look at this. I just scroll down. And then it seems to show a whole lot more. Water plus three more. There we go. It was there. Alright, cool. Uh, we're going to wait a little bit longer because I'm sure I saw two of them earlier anyway. So, how many welders can we pick up? And can we pick up anything extra? Drains Exploration, great card.
I think that Stealthy Hood and Giovanni's Exile are pretty worthless. Personally. This. This. Oh, sorry, I thought that was Erica. No, that's pretty garbage. <laughs> Order plus two more. Okay, three. No. Four for two. No. Is that it? We done loading? Yep. Okay. Neat. So, or maybe we're not. Apparently we're not. People are just putting up welders every day, all the time. Okay. Okay. Repel plus three more, let's go. Power plant, what is that? Oh! I've never seen that power plant card, but it seems pretty good. And there's the four. You know what? We're just gonna purchase this now. Done. Look at that. Complete. Uh, and now we're not gonna see any more trades for that because we don't have any. This person wants a welder. Two welders for a whole bunch of these. Okay. <laughs> when you don't have packs, am I right? Um, Alolan Muck. <laughs> it's interesting. I don't know if we need any of these cards now. But it's useful to look around at them. But I won't bother this like that. Uh, but it looks like we already have three. I thought we had four. No, we didn't. That's right. Look at this Persian. Vengeance can do 180 damage. That's pretty insane. Persian isn't too bad of a cat. Alright, ooh, Leafeon. <gasps> my baby boy! Oh, my baby boy! Oh, it's my baby! Mmm! Mmm! I love Leafeon. I love Lefion so much. Ah, uh, I really I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it. I know it's just not an online game. Ah, oh, it's there though. Oh, it's there. Oh, it's there. Screw it, I'm buying it. Impulse buy. <laughs> Ah, uh, if you so, Leafeon's my favorite Pokemon, guys. I know it's not good. I know. I know it's not. I don't care. <laughs> I love Dragonite too, but no way, no way, near compared to Leafeon. Why did I bother looking at this? I'm looking at all these cards that just make me want to get a Leafeon. All right. Um, doesn't look like there's much else in the way of interesting trades. I love Mimikyu as well, so I, I wouldn't mind getting a Gengar and Mimikyu at some point. There's a Glaceon. There's a Glaceon. This one wants a Mysterious Treasure. We did get Mysterious Treasure. Alright. Anyway. Ooh. <laughs> did I say that right? Pikachu and Zekrom's GX for... Eight tag teams. Eight of them. Eight. Mr. Mime. Best Pokemon in the game. Why would you trade that? Meganium. This is another Pokemon that we really want to get, actually. It it really, really, really is. So, uh, it has quick ripening hood. 
Once during your turn before you attack, you may use this ability. Choose one of your basic Pokemon in play. If you have a stage 2 card in your hand that evolves from that Pokemon, put that card onto the basic Pokemon to evolve it. Oh. Oh, what? Hang on. I, this works differently than I thought. So it's a rare candy. It just goes from basic Pokemon to stage 2. Play that card onto the basic Pokemon to evolve it. But you can only evolve it in the natural time. Okay. So if we had Meganu in the deck, as well as a Leaf... No, that's too many Pokemon. But if we did have that sort of stuff, right? Think about it. <laughs> if we had Meganium to this Crobat deck, right? We can forget about the Malamar. We just evolve it non-stop. Right, we evolve everything. What set is this from? Okay, whatever set that is. Um, we are going to look up Meganium real quick, because... I am really keen to look it up. And I've wanted a Meganium for the last week since I've heard about it. Um, so Meganium, it is a grass type. It does have a really cool effect. Um, is that the only deal for Meganium? That, that, that's the only Meganium there, huh? For two, team up. I don't even have the other bits. I don't have the other Pokemon for it. Uh. Um. Hang on, what set is that? That is. What set is that? Lost Thunder. Yeah, it's a Lost Thunder Meganium. <sighs> Hang on, let me look up real quick something. This card sells for six dollars, more or less. Considering a booster pack is six dollars on its own. It's not really worth it. Oh, here we go. That, that looks somewhat more worth it. So, that's normally $6, which means that's $12. These packs for me are, oh, we'll say six, seven dollars So, that's 6 12 $18. And this is normally worth $12. This card's overpriced already? Yeah, for sure. For sure, it definitely is. Um, but this card isn't for the deck that we're building. Very luckily. Um, I just like it. And we're actually going to grab this. We are going to grab that for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, so if we go to our deck builder now. Try a new deck. We want to go in standard. Okay, the Pokemon that we want to actually let's go field to standard. Yep, and we only want to grab from these top packs that are going to be in rotation. So up to Ultra Prism. And I think that's all we need to click. Yep, it is. Okay, so we're not going to be getting Meganium for this deck. We're going to be making this poisony type deck that we just decided on. So. We're going to be adding all four of these Gengars. We're going to be getting all four of these Ghastlies. We're going to see if we have any Haunters. Doesn't look like we have any Haunters. No, we don't. Alright. So we get Haunters in the future. <laughs> don't you guys worry about that. Haunters are pretty common-ish. And it doesn't really matter too much to me what Haunter, but for you guys, you will have your preferences. Uh, then we want to get... What's its name? Crobat. So we add four of these. We want to add Zubats. Now, always the best way to make a cheap deck that 
works <laughs> is just using what's available to you, right? But if you want to get some cheap cards that aren't huge, powerful GX and EXs like Reshiram and Pikachu, like Charizard and Reshiram, and Dedenne, things like that. Although Dedenne can just fit into any deck, and it's just going to be a staple, so yeah. not a lot you can do about that, but it's 40 something dollars. $75 for the Ghost Secret Rare thing over here, so yeah. Um, and then we want to get Golbat. Two, three, four. That's great. Um, and for energy straight up, we remember that we need our... I think it's called triple, yep. So we want to add these triple accelerations. We'd have... add four if we had four, but you got to work with what you've got. Um, now we want to add a whole bunch of fire energy to this deck. Let's just say 15 for now. As far as the trainers go, do we have, do we have 20 Pokemon in the deck? <laughs> Insane. Um, as far as the trainers go, we're going to want... Um, so we have to remember it's actually 24 Pokemon because we're going to have four Haunters in here as well. So for now, we'll just add these four Bay Leafs, right? Just to, as a placeholder for those. We're going to go to our collection, and because we didn't get the Malamar, we're going to pick up our Welders that we found. So, the idea is that we have our Welders, we can attach up to 5 energy per hand, hand whatever. Uh, and then we grab these. Why not play candy? That's a very good point. Alright, we will chuck in some rare candy as well. Because, why not? Uh, so we'll just chuck in like one of these, two of these, and one of this. Neat. It's all just candy, but you know, looks nice. Then you don't need the four, four, four lines. That's that's kind of true. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So we'll mainly be trying to use candy for Gengar. But we will want a Haunter in this deck for Swelling Sprite. Actually, um, without the filters on. Do we have any Haunters that are still in Standard now? Um, let's have a check. No, we don't. <laughs> of course we don't. Ah, uh, that's fine. That's whatever. Well, sorry Haunter, you're a little bit too old. But, yeah, oop, yeah. Go back to Ultra Prism, yep, neat. Um, so, for now, we're gonna work around rare candies with Haunt, uh, with Ghastly, but that's really upsetting for me because Swelling Spite lets us get some Haunters and put them onto our bench when Ghastly's knocked out. So, we will definitely want Haunters in this deck, but for now we're just going to do the best with what we have, which is some candy. Um, and because we've got Welder in here, we also want to see what stadiums we have actually. Um, is it possible to just push Stadium and have them all... Yeah, it is. Neat. Okay, so we just got Heat Factory today. We will chuck that into the deck because that's just going to be great for us because we're only running Fire Energy. Uh, black Market we're not going to need. Life Forest we're not going to need. No, okay. Um, wait. This isn't... Sorted... Yeah, because Crimson Invasion is not in anymore. Alright. So we don't have any other stadiums, but if we did, we would add Viridian Forest. Just to let you guys know. Now we also have these Mysterious Treasures. We got these. We're going to add these in because they're going to be super essential in searching for some Psychic type Pokemon. Which is what we've got. Uh, Netball. That's going to go in our Grass deck later. Pokemon Communication. We're just going to add that because it's going to be good. 
Uh, energy spinner, you want to add as many of these as you can, which is four, if you have them, just because they're just going to uh, thin the deck a little bit for us, which isn't super important in this build, but it's what we're going to go for. Oh, we do have we do have Viridian Forest. Oh, so the reason that we have Viridian Forest is so we can just discard cards, search for energy, right? It's just super simple. It's just a deck thinner a little bit again. Uh, Grenz Exploration is going to be helpful. What's Ultra Space? Nope. No, we don't have Ultra Base. All right. Now we might want to add in Koga's Trap, especially if we had the Dust Island. Um, and it will annoy our opponents a little bit as well. But draw support to try and get our Pokemon to evolve them is going to be a lot more important. So, let's see, what's our best draw supporters? We're going to want two Lily, because if we had four, we'd add four, or at least two or three. Um, just because they're very good. I don't know if we have Cynthia on this account. No, we don't. Alright, if you had Cynthia, you should definitely add that as well. But if you don't, I'd make well with things like Janine, I think, are pretty safe bets. Um, and Underground... The fossil underground person, I, I don't remember what it's called, underground expedition is what I'm trying to think of, would also be pretty great. Um, we're going to put Sabrina's suggestion in the deck as well, just in case we need it. Just for some random fun, because I, I like having fun when I play games. Oh, underground expedition, this is the thing I was thinking of, because that's essentially the same as, uh, where was it, Janine. Just you get the cards from the bottom of the deck instead of the top. Uh, Whitney is pointless if you don't have more. So we're basically never going to use that. Where did I get these frying pans from? Uh, buff padding is not important. If you have to sell a stealer, maybe? And then we have two more slots, uh, so for now, we are going to leave them blank maybe? No. No, we'll just swap them in for either some energy, we'll say one energy. And because we've got to remember that Welder is also a supporter card, so we can't be using a whole bunch of them. Uh, of them. I always think it's an item card. And then we don't actually need that much draw support because we have Welders, actually, now that I think about it. So... We'll get... I, I really don't want to say Looker, but I, I really think I need to say Looker. We'll get a Looker, you know? So you can add an energy there, you can add a Looker, it doesn't really matter too much. It's just whatever you want to do. I don't think we have any sort of energy recycling things. Nope. Not yet. Alright. So that's essentially the deck. We've only got these two main Pokemon as staples, right? Uh, and that's weak to dark, and that one's like weak to electric, so... <laughs> Those types are gonna hit us pretty hard. If we had some Haunters, we'd chuck them in. We could even get rid of... <clears throat> if we had something like three, four Haunters, we could actually get rid of a Gold Battle or two, especially with these Rare Candies. Or, we could uh, dump the Rare Candies all together. <laughs> if you really wanted to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
I don't know, rare candy is good in this deck, but it's also not too important at the same time. Uh, emotional butt spit. <laughs> Zeno Kaiba's voice actor is the same as Brock from Pokemon Indigo. Is it really? I, I never knew that. That's amazing. Is it actually? I hope so. <laughs> We're going to add a fire coin to this deck just to kind of confuse our opponents and make them think it's like some huge fire type deck or a grass type deck. I don't know. Yeah, we'll make them think it's a huge fire type deck when it's actually not at all. Sounds good to me. We're going to call it uh, <laughs> something about poison. How about we just call it Toxic Store? Right? That's probably a great name for it. That's just exactly as annoying as it is. Everyone knows Toxic Store is super annoying in the Pokemon games. That's kind of what this is. I think this is going to be a lot more fun than what Toxic Store is like in the Pokemon games. But, yeah. Alright. I do. Uh, no. I already have a Toxic Store. Okay, um, Toxic Store... Ghost bat. <laughs> I... Kroger. Geng Geng bat. Gen bat. Gen bat. You know what? Just ghost bat. It's fine. Do you want to save it? Yeah. We have rare candy. <laughs> That's specifically just for Gengar at this point. All right. Now we got a toxic stall ghost, but now the other thing that we're going to do real quick is we're going to see if we can open up some of these Pokemon cards that I have, because I have a few. So we have Celestial Storm. Don't think you can... That's so loud for me. Is it loud for you guys? Let's check out. Nah, uh, maybe. All right, let's tear it open. Yeah, it looks pretty loud for you guys. Good luck. Now we have a Sceptile. Look at that. Prevent all damage done to energy... What? Oh, from Ultra Beast. Okay. That actually looks pretty good. I like that Sceptile. It looks neat. Nice old Lavatar. So I don't remember, but I think these cards are out. Hiker. Huh. Yeah, I think these cards are out of date. I don't think you can use them anymore. Maybe Lure Ball, right? Lure, Lure Ball, actually. We'll find out. Um, and then we have some team-ups, so we're just going to open one or two of these. See if we get some cool items. Maybe a Haunter. Or something like that. Dratini, I love. Two cards. A Muck. And a Lapras. Alright. Not bad. Uh, Lapras seems... Is it pointless? 30 more damage times the amount of water energy attached to this Pokemon. Okay. So that might be really good in like a Whale Lord Gyarados deck, but it doesn't really have enough health to endure a lot. Yeah, nah, it's not that important. I mean, it's okay. It's just a basic water Pokemon you can put into any real deck, I guess. Especially with Quagsire. And if you're missing some strong staples, like you can just slide that in and have some fun games. Probably lose a bit, but have some fun games. Muck, uh, the special con condition poisoned is not removed when your opponent's Pokemon evolve or devolve. See, that would also be really good in this deck. And maybe we'll actually tech one. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Put two damage counters instead of one on that Pokemon between turns. And that's not a bad ability for one Psychic Energy. Although we don't run Psychic Energy. Um... Yeah. I mean, it's not bad for what it is. Yeah, it's just not bad. I love this Dratini, though. I love that Dratini so much, all the time. It's so cool. 
All right, and yeah. All right, let's open one more. See what we get. Another Dratini. Bronzor. Alolan Exeggutor. This Pokemon is pretty good because of Paradise Draw. Um, it's just, it's nice. So if we can, we might actually, actually, yeah, yeah, if we can, uh, we'll try to put together maybe a deck of, that's no point to it, but like, Alolan Exeggutor, Meganium, and Leafeon. Now, I'm probably going to change my mind on that definitely later, just because Meganium's effect doesn't matter whatsoever in an evolution line where you only have stage 1s, not stage 2s, but it's something to think about. And this bronze was pretty good. I don't know what the bronze zong is like in this meta, but yeah. Put an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon on top of the deck. I like that. I like that. Huh. That looks fun. I like how a lot of the basics are pretty good these days. Tool drop. Uh, if it was 30 and then times, like 30 damage plus and whatever, that'd be interesting, but... Okay. I do like this Geodude. I think it's like that. That's It's got a charge attack, you know? You're like, how can you be disappointed in that? Or like Hell in the Dark, search for two dark Pokemon. Oh, it's not onto your bench. That's good. That's better, I guess. Huh. Anyway, we'll leave those card packs there. Let's go back to our deck. Um, what is this Toxic Stall deck? Is there any Pokemon in it? Dragonite EX. Wah! Shaman EX. How long ago was this? And we had the Haunter Gengar lineup in this too. Oh, Creep Show! Creep Show Gengar was great. Oh man, this was a good, this was a good deck. I had the same idea here. Toxapex, man, this is old. Crobat, Crobat <laughs> Gengar in the same. I didn't realize I did this already. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poison. Put three damage counters instead of one on that Pokemon between turns. Like triple poison. <laughs> Surprise strike was pretty neat though, 120 damage just for becoming active, when that and Gengar both had no retreat. Ah. Toxic Spikes would have been, like this Toxapex would have been a great Pokemon to just slide into this deck. I mean that's, that's an expanded thing, right? That's definitely an expanded thing we can do. But, <laughs> yeah. Alright. Um, anyway, enough of looking in the past. With this new deck, was there any new trainers we just picked up that could be put in here? Alright. Um, netball. Okay, so Lure Ball can go in here. For flip three coins for each head to put an evolution Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. That also could be really useful. I don't know how useful it's going to be. Time will only, time will have to tell. But like, if we, hmm, a ditto could also be okay in this deck, I guess. But if we lose, if we get haunters at some point, yeah, if we get haunters, right? We start with a ghastly. It gets knocked out. Uh, two Haunters come down. We evolve them into Gengar. And then... Or if, like, the Haunter itself gets knocked out, we can grab it back. I don't know. I don't know how important Lure Ball is actually going to be yet. So, maybe we'll leave it out of our deck for now. Um, what do we add in the deck at the end? Look, <laughs> Looker. Alright. Um... Because it's possible that we don't need Looker. Maybe we've got enough draw support. Mm, 
We got Nata, so we can put an NG on top of the deck, which is pretty okay. Some people could brick off that just a little bit. Um, <laughs> I don't mind that play either. I'm going to say that we have enough draw support. Because we have this look for trainers, this to draw cards, this to draw cards, provided we have enough space in our hands. Uh, this to do something random, this to draw cards, and then four of these to draw some cards. But also to attach energy. So, because we're burning through so many energies in our hand, Cynthia and Lily are going to be a lot more important. But we don't have that. We don't have things. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Yeah, we do. Get off this filter. Uh, do we have Cynthia? No. But do we have Lily? Yes. Yes, we do. Alright. <laughs> Screw the rules, I have money. Um, let's just chuck in a Lily. Or two. Yeah. So now we've got two of these Lily. Two of these Lily. Neat. The game Lily, the anime Lily. She's so formal. Um, now obviously we, we're not as dependent on some of the other draw supporters. So Sabrina's suggestion could just leave if I wanted it to. Uh, but we'll keep it there for now because I like it and it's fun. But we'll drop Underground Expedition. Because that only gives us two cards, right? And Janina, Janina only gives us two cards. Which is good, like you get to choose two out of the four, but we're not really worried about what card specifically we get. We, we want Welder, and then we want lots of energy in our hand. So we want to draw lots of card, cards rather than just that. Um, that new card, Kahili, uh, from the... Ta no, 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 from the newest set. I already forgot what it's called. How did I do that? When, when did that happen? Um, is going to be amazing. It's right there, Unbroken Bonds. So Kahili from Unbroken Bonds is going to hu be huge because you get to draw two cards, flip a coin, if heads, you can keep the card in your hand. So you can just keep reusing it and it's pretty good for when you brick. It's pretty good if there's no other cards that you really want to use. But you have to get lucky with some heads. But I, I, I like having one or two of them in my deck. I really do. Um, yeah, I think that's good. I don't think you can go wrong with at least one Kahili. Um, over two could be bad. You might brick, you might not need it that much. You might have one and keep getting the heads, but then you'll draw more and then it's not going to matter if you have the other ones because you're only allowed to use one supporter per turn. But I think one or two Kahili is great. Um, we'll keep Nita there just to be annoying. <sighs> it reminds me of Delinquent, so that's why I like it. Look at that face. Ha ha ha. Although they need to have basics, but it could put them a turn behind. For sure. And Heat Factory is going to also help us draw now that I think about it. Um, so we want to just draw as much as we can, get through as much as we can. And that's going to help us get down to our Pokemon. Where they'll have effects where they're immune, and we can just do poison, then we can retreat them. Max potions would also be amazing in this meta, but we, we don't. We don't have those. Um, actually, do we have any special energy? Nah. Oh, wait. I'm not looking at the thing. Filters. Standard. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's the only energy that we actually have in standard at the moment. Um, I believe rainbow energy is coming back though, so we could add one of those. We don't need to. This thing's dropping, so we don't need to add those. We're not going to have any use for it anymore. Um, but yeah, some sort of card like Brock's Grit to get energies and Pokemon back is going to be essential in this deck. That's one thing I would add if I could. Um, uh, Pokemon communication's good. I'd, I'd add a lot of these... Um, I fell a few energy spinners as well. 
if I could change things. Um, maybe keep these two in there, but then keep two dust islands in there as well. Swaps Sabrina's suggestion out. Get. You probably want to swap Nita out as well, because it's not that consistent. You want to swap Janine out, and you want to put those cards in. I think I think that's the best way to make this deck viable. And having a Green's Exploration or two in the year, I think, is still pretty fine. Actually, you have to have no Pokemon with abilities in play. All of our Pokemon have abilities, don't they? Uh, those two definitely do, and then Crobat does. So we're, <laughs> we're always going to have a Pokemon with an ability in play, actually, at the moment. So green, green's worthless to us. Huh. It's great in like a... Uh, Breshizard deck. Pikaram, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. But... <sighs> Man, that, that train is so good. Because green's... Ex you, you could just pick up some rare candy and evolve Pokemon immediately, couldn't you? I don't know. I don't know. I'm too. I'm too focused on abilities in this game. We're gonna take that out for now, and we're gonna chuck in. Uh, a Pokemon communication, maybe. Do we have those Pokemon? Communication... Yes, we do have those. Oh, we have fishing rods, super rods. Are they still going to be around? I don't know if super rods are going to be around. Hang on, let's check. Okay. Apply. Rod. No, super rods aren't going to be around. Uh, Brock. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Brock. Okay. Um, rod. No. Nah. Acrobites. Ah, acrobites are also doable in this deck, by the way. Um, but looking at this stuff. Yeah. Energy Recycler might be. Good. Wait, is it just basic? It's only basic. If there's a way to get special energy cards, that would be super good as well. Um, Fiery Flint could also be pretty good for energy acceleration in this deck, but you don't really need it. Fire Crystal. Adding these to our deck would also help a lot. Um, because I, what I've found out is that any deck with fire energy is just, it's its going to be pretty okay. Especially if it's got World and Fire Crystal in it. Um, so anything that just needs colorless energy, I just slap in some fire energy instead and just rely on that for energy acceleration. Put three fire energy cards from you this card. Yeah. 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 So fire crystal, I'd say is going to be huge. I feel like fire decks are going to be massive if they're not already, which it's super obvious because of Reshizam, Charizard, I don't know, whatever it is. You know what I mean. I also know nothing about whistles, so I can't help you with that. What's the order pad? Okay. 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 Do I have any... Nope. Alright. We'll just put some Pokemon communication in then. Cool. Dump that. Dump Janine. Uh... 
Uh, adding a Cynthia in here could be good as well, guys. Uh, we'll keep Sprint because we don't have any of those. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, you could also shorten these lines if you wanted to. If you want to. I'm not sure what you want to do with those. But yeah, you, you could always make it so there's more trainers in the deck. If you feel like it's not flowing fast enough, but... I feel like this is the height of the deck. Yep. Oh, what an old card. Hmm. Yep. Sorry about Molly. She likes to bark. Simeon Sin says, yo. Can we play Pokemon cards against each other online? You, you definitely can. Simeon Sin, you can, yeah. We could add crushing hammers to the deck. I think I like crushing hammer better than that. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're just adding another communication. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Our deck's already super consistent, so we don't actually need communication that much. Yes! That's it. We're going to actually just add these hammers, right? We're going to get rid of these Pokemon communications a little bit. We're just going to have two, and then we're going to have two crushing hammers, and then I'm thinking in time I might actually change that. Um... We'll just have one Pokemon communication. Because I feel like in time what we'll do is we'll just... We'll just have enough Pokemon. Like, the deck's super consistent with the Pokemon as it is. We'll just have all Crushing Hammers. Right? Yeah. Then that way we can try and slow down our opponent so that we can get to the point of evolution. Although, if they're using super fast energy acceleration decks... With things like Welder... It actually doesn't matter at all. Hmm. So maybe that's also a thing I should think about. We will have a communication. <laughs> yeah. We'll have two of them. Just for that little bit of consistency. Alright. New man account? Cool, Simeon Sinning. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna go eat some food. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this little deck tutorial thing. I'll go battle people later. Um, but yeah, food, apparently, I can't. I don't have a say over this, so. Talk to you later.